All right, so we are at our second house of the day doing our search for a flip house. And I want to start with this. The sign that says, knock it down. That's not a good start when you walk into a house that you're looking at. And it was right here. Maybe it's this beam right here that's uh, not correct, it's four by six. You know, it's structural problems don't ever bother me. This house was built in 1875, and that doesn't concern me, it's an old house. Um, there's probably gonna be things that I don't agree with how it was built, but it doesn't mean that it's structurally unsound. So we're just gonna make our way through this house. This house is huge, it's enormous. It's uh, over 2,000 square feet. It's on 1.6 acres, and it's in North Smithfield. So far, that's good. And I don't, I mean, there's electric in there. So far, so good. Let's take a look. It's $130,000. So, there, grab the light. Follow me through the house. Okay, so, let's see what's in there. All right, so we're in the bathroom. We're walking through the house. One thing I don't like is low ceilings, but the house was built over 100 years old. So, you know, I can see some structural problems, but they don't concern me. Um, there is a basement, so we're gonna go down there in a second. I do see some uh, softness near the tub and shower surrounding. Boy, it looks really soft. Oh, wow. wow. Huh? Ooh, oh God, I noticed that, see? Listen, right here, Derek. Derek? Wow. Right here? Gotta have a good eye for it. That's crazy that I can see that from. Yeah, I know. You know, and I stepped on it holding on. So if you look, come take a look at this, Derek. So look at. So this is half inch particle board, okay? Half inch particle board on the side of a tub is not good. So look at, look at on this, Derek. Look at this. This is this is the subfloor. Oh. So so what do you think caused that rock? It, you know, as the people getting in and out of the shower, yeah. the water just sits in that one spot. Because there's these vinyl tiles, and there's no cement board, there's no ceramic tile, there's no proper seal there, the water sits there over the course of 50, 60, 80, 100 years, then it rots the floor. Again, not concerning to me, we're gonna take, take this right out, and even if we had to replace some floor joists, we do it, put a new subfloor in, done deal, goodbye. All right, let's keep going. Let's go to the next room. All right, so this goes outside. I think that we just need to go downstairs and that's gonna be the most important area. So follow me downstairs. Watch your step, Derek. Let's do a little side step. And um, again, low ceiling height, so um, watch your head. Watch your head with the beams. You see me there? All right, look, so this is what we call, this is what we call a, you know, fieldstone foundation, nickname it for a rubble foundation. Basically, it's just fieldstone. Um, it's very common. Some of them are, are granite. You see these big granite blocks for the foundation? This is actually really structurally sound for a house that's over 100 years old. Um, and, you know, fixing this moisture problem is, is not even a concern to me. This house is very um, sound, like as far as the foundation. And again, that doesn't scare me away. What I don't like is this area in here. Again, so you can see some rot right, that's it. Some rot right here, and you see this? This is what I don't like. Now you can see all of those two by fours that are just braced up, you know, here, there, and everywhere. And there's a lot of, <coughs> see all the sill plate damage right there? See it? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of water damage. This whole area would have to be reframed, but it's such a small area, it wouldn't be a concern. So far, not. Doesn't scare me away yet. Keep your head down, Derek. Let's walk through. Some new electric. Yep. <laughs> All right, so Derek's bumped his head four times now. <laughs> Sorry, <Derek. laughs> Is that right, buddy? Yeah. Super play. All right, so you gotta really just watch your head. So Derek's on the camera. Um, so it's hard to watch what's going on. Now take a look at this. Derek, we came down here a few minutes ago and there wasn't that much water in this sump pump. So what's going on? Why is the sump pump not kicking on yet? Oh, there it is. Look at which out it's spraying, see it? It's 
spin a little hole. Oh, yeah. So this basement has a water problem, okay? Now, everybody, I haven't released the video yet on uh, sump pumps, but this is not the proper way to do a sump pump. But, you know, water problems, not a big deal. That's why we have proper um, installed drainage systems. If it needs a little bit of a fridge drain over here, then that's fine. So there's obviously some groundwater. If this sump pump was done correctly, by myself, Northeast Contracting, then it would be, it wouldn't be flooding the whole basement like it is. So, again, uh, you know, this is right here is, you know, a classic repair from a unskilled contractor. This is a temporary jack post. Obviously, there's some issues with uh, the structure because it's an old house, but this is just framing. I mean, framing's simple. They have a new, Wow, that looks bigger than 200 amps. Maybe it is. A huge electric piano. That's 200 amps, just a big electric piano. They have a well coming in, which in this area, you know, there is a cesspool outside, and I, the cesspool is the worst part about this whole house, because um, we're gonna have to put in a septic system, which is costly, about $10,000. But again, that's, you know, in looking at a house, we're going to have to get that price off the purchase. So, what you had, Derek? Now, it looks like they started putting in a forced hot air system, slash possibly AC. Um, there's a gas line coming in. I'm going to guess that there's no gas in this house and that there's propane. So, I'm, I, I'm guessing that there's a propane tank somewhere. But they have a brand new system put in. They didn't, they didn't hook it up. It looks like somebody started and got themselves in over their head in this house. So we're gonna just walk through. Derek, we jump in the ductwork. See, look. So right here, again, here's your line. So they were gonna run this line outside and they were gonna put propane in here. So you know, there's a little bit of obviously there's a lot of water in there, see? A lot of water. But we can correct that. There's a little little bit of sill rot. <laughs> Very moist basement. See this right there? So once we correct all of this puddling water, if we decide to purchase it, then I think that you know that condensation is gonna be much better. Alright, let's go this way. Watch your head dark. So this structure does not concern me. You know, I could come down here and you know with the right crew I could take care of some of these foundation problems, these water problems in about five days, and none of this is a concern yet. Let's walk through the rest of the house. Better watch your head. Oh! Are you serious? I still had it. Oh boy, Dad. <laughs> right. So we're, we're just gonna continue through the, the house. Keep it rolling, keep it moving. Don't fall through the hole, Derek. <laughs> So let's just peek at every inch of the house. Oh, look at there's another half bathroom right here, not bad. That goes outside right there. Now, I will say, you know, it's an old house, very quirky the way it's set up, low ceilings, but the house has so much character and it's so big and for the price, you know, I really just have a really good feeling about this property. So let's keep uh, keep going. There's another door, another little low doorway. <coughs> it's kind of like a maze, right? Yeah. Watch your head down. Really nice house. So let's uh, go upstairs. Derek can look at that like you did earlier. So right here, Derek, I just want to say that I would reconfigure this because this is like a maze of doorways. And I mean, let's walk this way because this, this is like, like two foot doorways. There's three of them just to get in this room. So that's a layout problem. We can open that up and, and we could be in this room right here, that wall right here. Now come check this out there. There's a fireplace in this room. How fantastic is that? I mean, you know what? I'm gonna say people love old stuff like this, having a fireplace in your bedroom, that's great. Some slanted floors, that's fine. People actually prefer them. 
a lot of people. They like the old farmhouse character. You know, it's not really my preference, but I mean, you know what? I'll tell you, it's been standing in here for so long, it's not going anywhere, and really the character of it is, is just absolutely great. So, we have another room through the maze. Now, I don't like this room, and I don't know why the ceiling is so low, but it looks like they built up the floor for whatever reason, maybe some repairs, and they repaired the ceiling. Because, you know, maybe, maybe upstairs in the attic, there's another floor. Maybe it's sagging, but I think that we can correct this and uh, make this more functional. So we don't need to talk about every room. There's another room right here. And that room right there has an AC slash air system, electric. It's on. It's working. Let's um, check this out. Derek, please don't fall through the kitchen. <laughs> Alright, so... I just, you know, listen, I want to really talk about this for a minute. So we're standing above the kitchen. Um, and you see how they build. I mean, look, you have the one inch pine. You have this, like these, you know, big four by six beams. I mean, look at these. Derek, look at this connection right here. This is absolutely unbelievable. Look at how they built this. Look at how this is held up. You see this? Wow. See this spike? I mean... Listen, if you cannot appreciate something like this done in 1875, then you just do not like the Derek, you just made me real nervous. That's why I started. Look at the hole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Derek has fallen three times, bumped his head six, and has almost fallen through every floor <laughs> in the house. No matter how many times I tell him. No matter how many times I see it. So, I mean, this is great. This is just like they used a dowel and, and took all the time to hold this. You know, it's really cool. So, I mean, this is well built. The pipe is terrible. Obviously, that can be rerouted. That was an added bathroom or, you know, kitchen sink vent that was done afterwards. See the new plywood on the roof? That's a very good sign. So, this is normal for, you know, roofs to have like some, you know, damaged boards. So, when they did the roof, which they did at some point, they put new plywood. So, even if it needs new shingles, at least it has, you know, sturdy plywood. And look, wow, there's another stairwell going up. Do not fall through the floor, Derek. There's a couple more holes. <laughs> oh, what you had, Derek? So that plywood must mean there's evidence that the roof is relatively new? Yes. All right, so just stay right there, Derek. Now, these right here are collar ties. And what they do is they hold the roof from spreading out and these can be certainly if done right these can be raised up and or you can just you know you can engineer this so that you can you know, go up as high as possible and use this as another room in the house it's definitely going to need a little bit of a floor the the chimney definitely needs some repointing but it's really actually in fairly good shape i'm going to tell you you know what I always know a diamond in the rough, and this is one. So what would you say, flip or flop? Flip, baby. Put an offer in on this house today. So be ready. It's going to go. This house is going to be a go. I, um, I don't even, it's dark out, so we're not even going to talk about the outside. But very happy with um, this house. And when you know, you know. You know what? You either got it or you don't. Right, Derek? Nope.